Bonsoir, good evening. Welcome to Notre Dame Cathedral as we celebrate today a very, very special occasion. Archbishop Terence Prendergast, the Emeritus Archbishop of Ottawa Cornwall, is celebrating his 50 years of priesthood and we so want to thank the Lord for providing such a, a gift to the church and to him personally, this, all this, um, this energy that he seems to keep going and going and going. I don't know how he does it, but it is indeed a pleasure to have him with us tonight to celebrate this very special occasion. Alors ce soir, nous sommes heureux de vous accueillir dans la cathédrale pour célébrer avec Monseigneur Prendergast ses 50 ans de prêtrise l'occasion pour nous de remercier le Seigneur pour tous les bienfaits qu'il a lui-même reçus, mais surtout nous comme Église pour ses nombreuses années de service. Alors, bienvenue et félicitations, Monseigneur. In the name of the Father, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My heart is overflowing with joy tonight. Je suis très heureux d'être avec vous. Et célébrer le Seigneur qui nous a donné toutes sortes de bien faire toute notre vie. I'm grateful to the Lord for all his blessings of my life, especially for these years of the priesthood. At the beginning of the Mass, we ask God to pardon our sins. Seigneur Jésus, envoyé par le Père pour guérir et sauver les hommes, qui riait les sons, qui riait les sons. You came to call sinners, Christ et les sons, Christ et les sons. Seigneur, élevé dans la gloire du Père, to intercede for nous, qui les May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. ton immense gloire. Seigneur Dieu, roi du ciel, Dieu le Père tout-puissant. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For we Cut 
toi seul et saint, toi seul et Seigneur. Toi seul le Très-Haut, Jésus-Christ, avec le Saint-Esprit, dans la gloire de Dieu le Père. Amen. Let us pray, prions le Seigneur. Père très saint, puisque tu m'as choisi sans mérite de ma part, pour que je sois uni au sacerdoce éternel du Christ et me dévoué au service de ton Église, donne-moi d'annoncer l'Évangile avec empressement et douceur et de célébrer tes mystères dans la fidélité. Par Jésus-Christ, ton Fils, notre Seigneur, qui vit à règne avec toi dans l'unité du Saint-Esprit, Dieu pour les siècles des siècles. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Obey the Lord your God by observing his commandments and decrees that are written in this book of the law. Turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Surely this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too hard for you, nor is it too far away. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us? so that we may hear it and observe it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and get it for us, so that we may hear it and observe it. No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. The word of the Lord. steadfast love, O Lord. Forever I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord. I have found my servant David, with my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also strengthened him. Forever I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his name shall be exalted. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God and the rock of my salvation. Forever. Oh, Lord. 
I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Forever I will keep my steadfast love for him, and my covenant with him will stand firm. Forever I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord. Lecture de la lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Philippiens Frères et sœurs, s'il est vrai que, dans le Christ, on se réconforte les uns les autres, si l'on s'encourage avec amour, si l'on est en, en communion dans l'esprit, si l'on a de la tendresse et de la compassion, alors, pour que ma joie soit, soit complète, ayez les mêmes dispositions, le même amour, les mêmes sentiments. Recherchez l'unité. Ne soyez jamais intrigant ni vaniteux, mais ayez assez d'humilité pour estimer les autres supérieurs à vous-même. Que chacun de vous ne soit pas préoccupé de ses propres intérêts. Pensez aussi à ceux des autres. Ayez en vous les dispositions qui sont dans le Christ Jésus, ayant la condition de Dieu. Il ne retient pas jalousement le rang que les galets à Dieu, mais il s'est anéanti, prenant la condition de serviteur, devenant semblable aux hommes. Reconnu homme à son aspect, il s'est abaissé, devenant obéissant jusqu'à la mort, et la mort de la croix. C'est pourquoi Dieu l'a exalté. Il l'a doté du nom qui est au-dessus de tout nom, afin qu'au nom de Jésus, tous genoux fléchissent au ciel, sur terre et aux enfers, et que toute langue proclame « Jésus-Christ est Seigneur » à la gloire de Dieu le Père. Parole du Seigneur. Nous rendons grâce à Dieu.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As they gathered with Jesus to celebrate the Passover, a dispute also arose among the disciples as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table, or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? but I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to all of you who have come to join with me in offering the Miss Mass of Thanksgiving to God for 50 years of priestly ministry across this country. For extended times in Toronto, Halifax, Regina, and Ottawa. And for shorter stints in Yarmouth, Alexandria, Cornwall, Hearst, and Moosonee. There have been years of challenge and of growth, and for the most part, they've been happy, indeed joyful years. Throughout, I have been sustained not only by God's grace, but also by the supportive intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary and by my patron saints. An extraordinary blessing for me has been the encouragement of family members, fellow Jesuits, priest friends, deacons, and many members of the lay faithful as well as religious sisters. On this occasion, I cannot forget the bonds that are forged with ecumenical and interfaith partners, and especially here in Ottawa with Jewish and Muslim friends and associates. Je tiens à souligner avec gratitude et nombreuse gentillesse de notre archevêque d'Ottawa Cornwall, Monsieur Marcel Danfous, comme il a fait au début de cette messe, qui m'a offert la possibilité de servir ici dans la cathédrale de Notre Dame. Mon jubilé d'or de sacerdoce le jour même. J'ai l'impression, Monseigneur, que la transition ici s'est faite relativement douceur. J'admire la façon dont vous avez assumé et résolu bon nombre d'affaires inachevées que je vous ai laissées. 
Chaque fois que je reviens, je suis gâté par votre gentillesse et celle des résidents de l'archevêché, ainsi que par le personnel coopératif du Centre des Assassins. Merci infiniment. Je veux aussi exprimer ma gratitude ce soir pour la présence de Mgr Ivan Jurkovic et du personnel de l'Annonciature. En tant que représentant du pape François au Canada, il a été d'un grand soutien pour moi depuis son arrivée en août de l'année dernière. Merci, Excellence. À mes frères évêques, Monsieur Paul-André Durocher, qui célèbre cette année 40 ans de sacerdoce et 25 ans d'épiscopat, et Monsieur Christian Lépine, archevêque de Montréal de ma ville natale, qui ont tous deux souhaité être avec moi à cette occasion. Je dois dire que j'ai appris à apprécier notre fraternité au sein du Collège épiscopal. Je suis heureux que vous avez pu partager cette occasion avec moi. I acknowledge the presence of several family members who have come here from Barrie, from Montreal, and from the capital region for this occasion. My sister Mary and her husband John, my nieces Patricia, Jillian, and Clara, who are stand-ins for so many more who sent good wishes from across Canada and the USA. As my 75th birthday approached, I expressed my wish to spend more time with you in retirement. And I'm encouraged by your willingness to wait a bit longer to experience that additional time that I promised. I acknowledge also my Jesuit confreres who have always welcomed me on my visits and longer stays, and feel that I am truly blessed with the supportive community of them here in Ottawa. Thanks are also due to numerous priests, religious, and laity who have come tonight. In my ministerial appointments, I've come to know and love seminarians and diocesan clergy with whom it has been a privilege and joy to collaborate. I should also mention my regard for those religious who serve in parishes and special ministries so as to build up the church, as do many women, religious, and other consecrated persons. I've come to appreciate particularly the sisters whose charism has been to serve not only in Ottawa, but radiating outwards to eastern and northern Ontario, and even beyond to Africa and Asia and Latin America, serving particularly as nurses, teachers, pastoral agents, and formators of God's people. Many years ago, two young men attended St. Patrick's College here in Ottawa, directed by the Oblate Fathers. Each felt a call to the priesthood, the first of them decided to apply to the diocese because he did not want to teach as the Oblates did. Several years afterwards, the Archbishop asked him to teach at the junior seminary, where he later became the principal. The other young man entered the Oblates because he preferred teaching and definitely did not want to be a parish priest. You guessed it, his religious community regularly assigned him to parish work first in indigenous communities and later in rural and urban parishes in the Halifax Archdiocese where I got to know him. As I explained to Father Connor O'Hara the other day, this is a good way to underline the truth that when one is ordained a priest, one writes a blank check to the Lord, allowing bishops and religious superiors to point out the Lord's will for our lives and our ministry. This can take us beyond any pastoral office we could have imagined. As I left home some 60 years ago to enter the Jesuit novitiate, I never dreamt where that would lead me. As I celebrate the 50th anniversary of my priestly ordination today, I'm amazed that the Lord delighted in having me serve him and his holy people, first as a teacher of scripture and in priestly formation, then surprisingly for a Jesuit as a bishop in Toronto, Halifax, Yarmouth, Ottawa, Alexander Cornwall, more recently, in Northern Ontario, in the Diocese of First Moussigny, where we eagerly await the nomination of our new bishop. Frères et sœurs, nous venons de célébrer la Pentecôte en priant pour l'effusion de l'Esprit Saint qui renouvelle sur les chemins de la réconciliation, notamment avec les Premières Nations du Canada, auxquelles le pape François apportera une contribution marquante à la fin du mois prochain. Aussi, son, sous son inspiration et sa direction, nous sommes également engagés dans un processus de marché ensemble, dans un process, processus synodal, qui est plus typique des églises orientales, mais que nous apprenons à utiliser dans l'Église latine, l'Église de Rome. 
alors que nous réfléchissons à ce que l'Esprit dit aux Églises pour le bien des disciples du Christ, afin que davantage des personnes soient attirées par Jésus et son mode de vie, et aussi pour le bien de toute l'humanité. Cette semaine, nous sommes revenus au temps ordinaire, ou, je préfère dire, temps ordonné. Cette grande période entre le retour du Seigneur auprès du Père pour intercéder en notre faveur et son retour dans la gloire pour faire toutes choses nouvelles. Cette semaine, dans ce qui était autrefois l'octave de la Pentecôte, nous avons commencé à entendre proclamer le message de Jésus dans son sermon sur la montagne. En effet, Jésus dit que, puisque le Père Céleste nous offre le royaume des cieux, dans les béatitudes, le défi auquel nous sommes confrontés est de connaître et de vivre la réalité qui nous permet d'être celle de la terre et lumière du monde. Il s'agit d'un message merveilleux pour chacun d'entre nous, alors que nous engageons hardiment dans la nouvelle évangélisation en devenant chaque jour davantage des disciples missionnaires. What you might ask has following Jesus meant for me as a Jesuit priest and a bishop. To share with you what is in my heart today after all these years, I refer you to the scripture readings that we have just heard proclaimed. Tonight's second reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians and the gospel passage were the two of the passages I had in mind when I came to choose what bishops do, namely picking an Episcopal motto. I have always been moved by Jesus serving his disciples at table at the Last Supper. He said, I am among you as one who serves, which is how I saw my priestly ministry as I then approached the Silver Jubilee of my priesthood. Yesterday, the Thursday after Pentecost, the liturgical order allows the possibility of celebrating a votive mass of Jesus as eternal, sovereign, and great high priest, which is the image on the cover of this evening's mass booklet. But Jesus lives out these exalted titles not in some haughty way, but by waiting on his disciples at table. Earlier in Luke's gospel, Jesus had promised these same frail and struggling individuals, his apostles, that he would do something similar when the kingdom would come about in its fullness in heaven. Using a parable, he says, when the master returns from the wedding banquet and he finds the servants keeping watch, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. Wow. Christ will set us down and serve us at the heavenly banquet. What a great future we have. So in serving God's people as priests, we are imitating our Lord himself who is among us as one who serves. But as you can see from my personal coat of arms on the back cover of the program, I didn't choose as one who serves for my motto, but in nomine Jesu, a similar one. It means in the name and power of Jesus. And it means, it alludes to my membership in the society of Jesus, in Societate Jesu, that is the Jesuit order, which has its motto, ad maiorum dei gloriam, to God's greater glory. Now in the text from Philippians, the text in nomine Jesu really means at the name of Jesus. And Paul goes on to say that as a result of Christ's self-emptying love shown in Jesus' service at table and in the foot-washing ritual that the evangelist John told us about at the Last Supper, all of this came to its most extraordinary expression in Jesus' death. Not just any death, but his death on the cross. The result, Paul says, proudly and boldly, is that at the name of Jesus, every human and angelic being in heaven on the earth and under the earth, will be called to bend the knee, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. That's what has moved me in my ministry. Cette phrase et cet exposé étaient plutôt longs. Je m'excuse. Et ces phrases expriment ce que Dieu a mis et continue de mettre dans mon cœur, alors que j'essaie de vivre le sacerdoce du Christ, et je m'efforce d'être un icône de mon Seigneur Jésus. C'est aussi la raison pour laquelle j'ai choisi ce beau texte du livre de, du Deutéronome, qui m'a aidé très tôt dans ma vie à apprécier l'amour de Dieu notre Père. 
pour la nation la plus insignifiante qu'il a choisie pour, sa, pour la, mienne, la sienne. Et que la parole de Dieu est toute proche, elle n'est pas loin dans les cieux, de l'autre côté de la mer, mais toute proche, elle est pour chacun dans la bouche et dans le cœur. The first reading from Deuteronomy tells us how God chose Israel, the least important nation, to be his own. Now he chooses us. And God gives us his word through the Holy Spirit, a word that is close to us, not far away, not at the other end of the world, across the sea in heaven, but in our mouth, in our hearts. Le dernier texte important de l'Écriture est le pont du psaume « Pour toujours et à jamais je chanterai ta bonté, Seigneur ». Cette phrase du psaume 88 ou 89 est le texte que mes camarades de classe et moi, moi avons choisi pour une invitation commune à l'ordination. C'est un texte qui, selon nous, exprimait la proximité de Dieu avec nous lorsque nous avons entendu notre appel à la présidence jésuite à l'époque où nous nous préparions à le célébrer. Reste encore plus vrai un demi-siècle plus tard. Pour toujours et à jamais, je chanterai la bonté du Seigneur. Psalm 89 was the text that we, in my class, with whom we'll be meeting next week in Toronto for a reunion, we chose wherever I was saying the goodness of the Lord. It was true then, it's true 50 years later, it's true always. It's been said about priests that the best of them live with the notion that they do not belong to themselves, that they are consecrated to the divine mystery, to the God to whom they have said yes with all their being. Such priests live in a way that awakens the desire for and the experience of God in others. Priests awaken in others the questions about eternal life. They herald the news that love transcends all egotism. They give witness to the fact that we are most ourselves when we give ourselves away. Yes, the priesthood is an immense blessing for each priest All the priests here can testify that, I'm sure, as it has been for me. A blessing and over the decades, a source of deep joy. Our lives, you see, are a gift to the whole church through God. So were those of our families and the teachers who formed us so generously, so well. A priest doesn't come out of thin air. His parents and siblings, others. The words of my fellow Jesuit Jubilarians and I need to keep on our lips as we look back on our priestly lives so far and look forward to the hopes and even the crosses that lie ahead is, thank you. Thank you, God, for giving me parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters and teachers and classmates and friends who have surrounded me and supported me until this day. Thank you to the Holy Spirit for demanding of me and making possible to me a life of holiness. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for calling me to service of the deep of the sheep of your pastor, to live in your name as one who serves, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Frères et sœurs, ce n'est pas vous qui m'avez choisi, dit le Seigneur. Cette parole du Seigneur reçue d'aujourd'hui, accueillons-le en rendant grâce et supplions notre Dieu qui nous rejoindre au cœur de nos vies. God says, It's not you who have chosen me, I have chosen you. Let that be in our minds as we make our prayers today. Pour l'Église qui a reçu le trésor de la parole de Dieu et le don de l'Eucharistie. Rendons grâce au Seigneur et demandons-lui la force et la joie de la persévérance pour vivre et transmettre ses dons reçus. 
the church, blessed with the treasure of the word of God and the gift of the Eucharist, that our clergy may always be filled with thanksgiving as they strive to live and transmit these gifts of grace, we pray to the Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Marcel, Archbishop Terence, and for all who are celebrating an anniversary of priestly ordination this year, in gratitude for their vocations and that they may be given the blessing of perseverance in ministry, we pray to the Lord. For the people of God, recipients of priestly ministry of word and sacrament, that they may know themselves to be friends of the Lord, called to commit themselves to a new evangelization as missionary disciples. We pray to the Lord. For the clergy who have gone before us in pastoral service to God's people here in Eastern Ontario, bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may rejoice in eternal life with Christ the Good Shepherd, their model, we pray to the Lord. Dieu notre Père, notre espérance et notre joie, qui règne pour les siècles des siècles, ding exaucer nos prières. Lord God, our hope and our joy, Grant these our prayers and fulfill them in your wise province. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Seigneur, sois pour tes mains, ce sacrifice, le mange pour moi de son nom, pour notre bien et si vite. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, so that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with the end we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Marcel, my brother, Bishop, me, your worthy servant, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here with faith and devotion are known to you. For then we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the resumption of their souls in hopeful health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Unis dans une même communion, vénérant d'abord la mémoire de la bienheureuse Marie toujours vierge, Mère de notre Dieu et Seigneur Jésus-Christ, et celle de Saint Joseph, son époux, les bienheureux apôtres et martyrs, Pierre et Paul, André, Jacques et Jean, Thomas, Jacques et Philippe, Barthélemy et Matthieu, Simon et Jude, Lin, Clète, Clément, Sixte, Corneille et Cyprien, Laurent, Chrysogone, Jean et Paul, Combe et Damien, et de tous les saints, nous t'en supplions. Accorde-nous par leur prière et leur mérite d'être toujours et partout fort de ton secours et de ta protection. Lord, for it, Lord, we pray graciously, accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. Thighs raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We have faith. the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant, Abel the Just the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Aussi, Seigneur, de tes serviteurs, de tes servantes qui nous ont précédés, marqués du signe de la foi, qui dorment dans la paix. Pour eux et pour tous ceux qui reposent dans le Christ, nous implorons ta bonté, Seigneur. Ils demeurent dans la joie, la lumière et la paix. Et nous, pécheurs, tes serviteurs, qui mettons notre espérance en ta miséricorde inépuisable, Admets-nous dans la communauté des saints apôtres et martyrs avec Jean-Baptiste, Étienne, Mathias et Barnabé, Ignace, Alexandre, Marcelin et Pierre, Félicité et Perpétue, Agathe, Lucie, Agnès, Cécile, Anastasie, de tous les saints. Nous t'en prions, accueille-nous dans leur compagnie sans nous juger sur le mérite, mais en accordant largement ton pardon par le Christ, notre Seigneur. À lui, tu ne cesses de créer tous ces biens, tu les sanctifies, leur donnes la vie, les bénis et nous en fais le don. À lui, avec lui et en lui, à toi, Dieu le Père Tout-Puissant, dans l'unité du Saint-Esprit, tout honneur et toute gloire pour les siècles des siècles. Ah 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 Et une situation est formée à des moustiques. qui es in celis, sanctifié tu nomen tuum, alveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, 
sikurin cello et in terra. Anem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie. Et imite nobis de vita nostra. Sicur et nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, se libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
C'est pour ta gloire de ton nom, Seigneur, que j'ai célébré avec joie le mystère de la foi en cet anniversaire de mon ordination. À comment d'être en vérité ce que je vais accomplir sacramentellement dans ce sacrifice par le Christ, notre Seigneur. I have the honor to read the letter that Holy Father Franciscus addressed to His Excellency. Venerabili Fratri Terencio Tome Prendergast, Archiepiscopo Emerito Taviensis Urnubiensi, Aureum Ordinationis Perepisiteralis in Societate Jesu Accepte celebranti jubileum di utinam pastoralem navitatem aput varias ecclesiasticas comunitades e idem comissas diligenter exercitam fraterni animi officis gratulamor. Sedulum eus evangelii ad populo nunciandi opus expletum recolentes in quo pastoris de humani odierni temporis cultus requisitis Soliciti prebiut in nomine Iesu testimonium. Quidum optima queque omnim namur apostolicam nostram benedictionem ei, eiusque propinquis libentes impertimol, 
preces pro nostro Petrino Ministerio ex Spotulantes, datum Rome Laterani, die primo mensis iuni, anno bimilesimo, biventesimo secundo. Franciscus. It's a good thing I taught Latin. <laughs> we'll tr translate it for you and send it out a little bit later. But it basically speaks about my golden jubilee of ordination, the fact that I served in a number of parishes or dioceses, and that he gives an apostolic blessing to all those who have come here tonight and all those who are relatives of mine. So even those who didn't come are going to get it. And it's dated on the 1st of June, of this year, 2012, and signed Franciscus in the tiniest writing that the Pope has. So I thank uh, Archbishop Djurkovic for bringing it over, and I promise you that we'll get the English and French translations out for you as soon as we can, and Peter Fan will look after the Chinese one, I'm sure. Thank you. Let's stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you with every heavenly blessing, make you always holy and pure in his sight, pour out in abundance upon you the riches of his glory, and teach you with words of truth, may instruct you in the gospel of salvation, and ever endow you with fraternal charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And you're all welcome downstairs for a reception in the hall. You get down there by the staircase at the right-hand side or left-hand side at the back. <laughs>